Performance results give you an instant breakdown on stock performance of the company of your choosing. It is found by scrolling down below the historical graph and are calculated on the time frame of your choosing. Fast Graphs, by default, uses a $10,000 investment as a base case scenario. For this example, we are looking at the effects of investing $10,000 in Apple with a start date of 1998 and how today that money would be worth about $1.6 million. In this section, we find the dividend cash flows for the entire time period selected. In this case, Apple started paying a dividend in 2012, starting at $0.38 cents per share and increasing from there. The next columns show the dividend growth per year, the payout ratio for the year, number of shares, the dollar amount paid based on the shares, and the yield on cost. Below, you can find the average dividend growth rate for the time frame selected with the compounded annual growth rate, the total amount of dividends paid, and the growth breakdown of the stock you are looking at. This is then in comparison to investing in the S&P 500 over the same time frame. You can also customize the investment amount to your liking to see the results on the exact investment that you made. This is done by changing the investment amount in the box located here and hitting go to recalculate the results on the new amount. In this case, let's change the investment amount to 15,000 and see how the performance results have changed. As you can see, the new amount invested is 15,000 and the calculations have changed accordingly. Another function you can use is the reinvest dividends option, which then recalculates the performance results from reinvesting the dividends at the end of each quarter for the time period selected. The end of period shares, dividends paid, yield on cost, and the growth breakdown sections have all changed accordingly to reflect dividends being reinvested 